Saturday Night Spike Out is live, week two. Select a it's a new week, so we got another character. And today's lined up, as said before, is Minwa, the second member of Team Neo Spike. And th this game's representative for the fighting style of Bachi Tuan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Still controls about the same as I remember. Like the core inputs are still always the same with these characters. It's just that, you know, the animations are different and sometimes as well the properties of it changes as well. Alright. We're we're still getting familiar with things again on easy. Hopefully. I'm hoping that maybe, like, by the time, like, I'm done with these first four characters and move on to, like, Team Spike, I, I'll think about, like, bumping the difficulty up to normal, because after that many playthroughs, I should be able to get more used to, you know, what all the game specifically throws at me and how best to deal with it. Select a fighter. Alright. So what do we got for colors? Yeah. We'll go with that. Okay. Spikers camp. Starting at Spikers Camp, as always. See the map. It's kind of a shame, though, that it doesn't start at, like, the part of Spikers Camp that it initially begins at in the, uh... In, like, the... Like, in the, uh, the arcade original. For Final Edition, at least. Because it wasn't in Digital Battle Online. All right, come on. Ah. All right. And of course I'm having to, like, during these first few minutes, I'm always having to, like, shake off whatever muscle memory's been forming from, like, playing DOA constantly on this arcade stick and remember, oh, right, these are different controls. I gotta get used to how this works on, on Spike Out. <laughs> All right. Special item. Oh my. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, with her, it's like... Yeah, okay, yeah, so that is actually, like, a, a good difference, unless I, like, completely blanked on Spike Jr. actually having it. But, like, uh, with, uh, if you just tap jump and kick, or jump and charge, rather, which is always, like, a kick move in the general sense. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you can you can still get that second kick follow up whether it's like the short hop or like the Yeah, but that still works. Yes. Haha. <laughs> and come on. You're gonna break. Okay. Camera. Oh my god. That's kind of. Wow. I'm not seeing the camera get stuck in that kind of position and just linger. Just panning and rotating overhead like that. Oh, Battle Street. You could have been the best version, but you're like probably second, but second or third best, I suppose. Yeah. 
Yeah. At least this still works. Yeah. But that's even better now with uh, Minwa in her case because she's still got like that uh, that double kick even like on the light jump attack. The light jump kicks. All right. God, this still this still feels so fun. All right, and oh, this is too far away, but whatever. Okay. Yeah, eight point combo. That's not too bad. Nice. Oh, no, 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 no. And, okay. Sweet, that was actually all enemies. Not bad. All right. Uh, yeah. I may mention of this before in the past, especially like on the the first stream I ever did of of this game back in December. Fight. But but like the the thing is that uh, even though I don't play as Akira in Virtua Fighter. I always, like, appreciate seeing, be it in a Sega game or any other game uh, where it makes sense to feature, but I love seeing Bachi Chuan being represented, like, in fighting, uh, in, like, other fighting games or, like, action games in general, this type. I mean, even in general, with uh, when it comes to uh, games that just feature a Tetsu Zanko, like you see with, uh, uh, like that, that level 4 charge. Yeah. And, okay. Yeah, it's just always such a beautiful, yet so incredibly powerful and forceful, uh, like, combat technique. It's beautiful. Ah, come on. Got him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Ugh. All right, that's right. I can still do what I can to, like, make use of these weapons. Why not? Yeah. Like it just it it just warms my heart to to like see a character like this who I kind of had like no expectations for like what her fighting style might have been when I first discovered this game and just to instantly recognize her doing all like the like the iconic moves like even that like that's straight up like Akira's classic win pose and like VF one and two like just seeing those like iconic moves and, and whatever like on another character is, is so. Appreciated. All right, and yeah. Oh, nice! I even knocked one straight it uh, straight over the pier. Nice. Yes. Oh yeah, I'm I'm getting way into this character. 
Especially now that, like, I've been kind of retaining, keeping notes of, like, the, the specific stuff I had learned from, like, the first playthrough with Spike Jr. You know, just that... Like, that jump plus beat attack combined with a level 3 serving as, like, an extra way to, like, juggle enemies is so good. Yes. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay. There we go. Jeez. Okay. I gotta back off for a little. Ah. Jeez, will you just let me get a clear shot of, like, who I'm trying to Tetsuzanko? Are you kidding? Like, that wasn't hitting anyone? Are you serious? Where were you fucking aiming? There, it at least hit something. No. Watch yourself. Just Yeah, I would if it just let me Ah shoot. Alright. This'll probably do it. Alright. Got it. Whew. Yeah, they got a bit hairy by the end. I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to get a bit too, a uh, bit fancier than I was the first time. Thought I was up for it, but no, I got dangerously low on health. How to see the map? Okay, good old Diesel Town. Now then, I'm gonna take the same route I did the first time, but instead of going into the basketball court at the end, I'm gonna loop back around to like, uh, to like that specific area where I think you fight Victor. He's called. Yeah, we'll do that. I kind of want to save until I start playing as Jackal and Fiona that I start going for the shorter routes. Because I think that might have an impact on, like, actually getting us to the shipyard. Alright. All right, and... Oh, come on. Where are we... Yes. Oh, that that's a good way to... Oh, that's... A... And, all right. You keep up the pressure. You keep off the uh, the offense and, like, killing enemies. It's like you're never going to run out of time. Which, naturally, as you'd expect, that's how they... Uh, that's how they try to get you later on, where they make the enemies so much harder to kill that you're going to run out of time. Alright. No, no! Oh my god, where the hell, dude? Yes. Ow. Oh, I should have grabbed. I should have grabbed when I had the chance. No! Oh my god! Damn it! No, no! Oh my god! Okay, this'll do. This should this should absolutely kill Nora, I think. Yes, it did. 
Camera, please, for God's sake. Oh my God, I can't. Why? How is the camera acting so much worse than it ever did in the past? Oh my god, bitch. Ah, life's up, thank you. Okay. Take that. Where was that even aiming? Well, okay. At the very least, I salvaged this. All right. Just an extra combo on his ragdoll for good measure. God, this is getting... Ugh. Yeah, I'm so quite a ways off before I ever want to even think about taking on normal mode. At least for the sake of, like, limiting the amount of continues I would have to take on each stage. Because I'm still not going to be good enough to play through the game entirely on pure arcade rules, as this game puts it. Which is to say, like... Uh... Like, there's no way I'm going to be able to, like, consistently bring myself to play this game with the idea that I would just lose all progress if I so much as died. Ah, okay. That still worked. Ah. Okay, come on. Damn it, Shoji. Oh my god, the, the stairs make it impossible to actually do that follow-up, I guess. Oh man. I want to try something. Oh my god, I was trying to... It was seriously not letting me do B plus charge. You know, that's sweet. Like, what was up with that? Oh, this camera, please, for the love of god. Oh my god, stop wasting it! I am only pressing two buttons! Yes, okay. No, this... Oh, fucking hell. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. I can, I can see how these... My work as combos is just... I gotta do a better job of, like, controlling the space so that these dudes are actually next to a wall. So they can bounce. Alright. There we go. Still. Even with all the close calls I've had. I've not had to use a continue f once yet. Let's see if I can get... Uh, end up with, like, using less continues than I did during, like, my first playthrough with Spike Jr. Which I think was, like, just three on Diesel Town alone. Okay. Oh my god, no, I was trying to grab him! Yo, okay. And yes. Yes, all right. Victor is not he is not standing the chance. Yes! Alright. We're still taking the sewer route. That's totally what we want anyway. Area 2 clear. Let's go. Alright. Man. I'm on a roll. I know it's easy difficulty, but honestly, it feels more like normal. 
Should have been labeled normal, hard, and very hard if we're being perfectly frank. Will you please just... Oh my god. Oh, that... Wow, even just doing that, I think. Oh god, no, not that. No, I wanted to do like the, the jump plus uh, beat. Oh, I, I guess the, the slope, the, the stairs kind of affecting it, but I swear I was able to like, after doing just, uh, just the first jump kick, and then immediately jump plus beat, I was like able to actually OTG them. Just like, I think only for one hit though. Yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah. That's what you like. When you actually are able to, like, get these dudes against the wall, these combos can actually extend beyond, like, five hits on average. Yeah, like that. See? Assuming... Ugh, it's just... Please, just stop wasting... Seriously, dude, come on. Again, every time. God, now I'm gonna be left with nothing for. What is it, Randolph? Oh my god. Yes. All right. It still worked, even if... Uh... Damn it. There. All right. Good. Oh, that worked out. That worked out as well. Nice. That was a good combo. All right. The more I could get these goons out of the way, the better when it comes time to dealing with the boss. <laughs> Although, oh shit, he's already here. Fuck! No, it's Curtis, right. Alright, we'll do it this way. Thanks for giving me an extra special attack item drop. Yo! Oh my god, it's like it pinballed them everywhere. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go. Oh damn it. <laughs> no! Oh my god, she just had to. Mm. Alright. You know, get over here. No! Oh my god, that's just... It sucks that like some of these combos just do not get to work on on bosses. I mean, that admittedly did. That's nice. Okay, I gotta... Though I don't know what particular state the boss has to be in for that to even work. I know it was just... I had to do the... Like, the double kick on the short uh, jump plus charge attack. I know that much. And from there I could just go into any combo, but I'm pretty sure that's something you can't do on neutral. Is there, like, a counter-hit system in this game? I wouldn't be surprised if there was, but it's, like, it's not like the game's really done much to ever, like, like, surface that to, uh, to anyone, I think. Uh, 
Or maybe if I, I could pull that off if, like, they're stunned. I'll have to... I'll have to experiment more, assuming I do not... Uh, take any needless deaths in the process. God. Even as a launcher, level 3 charge is still so much better than level 2 because, like, it still has some matter of, like, area of effect. So, like, any en enemies that are bunched over and not, like, in a juggled state already are gonna get stunned. Like, that's so good. Oh my god, where, uh, where were you even aiming? <laughs> See, like I said. All right. Let's keep going. Ooh. He's trying to jump kick me, but I did not let him. Hell yeah. No. Oh my god, will you please... Yeah, and God bless, like, the super armor when you do, like, jump plus beat. And come on. Oh, God, I'm running out of time. How did that happen? Not anymore. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. They launched him even if he wasn't in a juggle state. It's got to be a counter hit system, and I just never realized. Even though it makes total sense, given, like, some of the, like, fighting game philosophy behind this game's design. Oh, no. Please. Please do not ruin me. Please do not ruin me, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. No, please. Just... All right, fine, we'll do it this way. Yep. I, I, st I still love they've, like, basically turned this, like, into, like, a DuckTales joke just with, like, these three bosses. Nope. There. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. I should have jumped. He was too heavy. Good. No. Nope. Double kill, nice. Oh, that was that felt good. Wow. <laughs> I feel like this is so far a result of me having done a full play playthrough of Battle Street to kind of like know how things go. Combined with I think I'm liking playing as Minwa more than I do as Spike Junior. <laughs> so I think that helps. Yes, exactly. I feel like like that enemy I had just launched with a level 3 was clearly going for an attack. Oh, yeah. Damn it. 
Ha! Oh! Oh! Oh, wow. I just realized that's probably a situation where I could have just, like, chained the first two punches of a combo and, like, reset. And, like, I could get something close to an infinite. Yes! Okay. Yeah, that's what I should be doing at that point. I should be alternating between the sweep and the jump kick, the light version. Okay. We're learning. This uh, this is what, what we end up learning on the road to being a true spiker. Yeah. Obviously, the tricky part, even then, is, uh, like, chaining them if they're not, like, close enough in a corner or something. God damn it. Ugh. Will you please get up there, Minwa? Yeah. All right, we got two special attacks in reserve. All right, we'll we'll do it this way. Yes! And I got a special attack back. Hell yeah! <laughs> nah. Alright, and... Oh my god, please. Will you just stop wasting it? Wow. This has to be... I refuse to think that this is just a matter of, like, my skill has 100% improved and that's the only factor. There is some amount of luck to this. Okay, nice. Eight combo. We'll take it. We'll move on. Ooh. Real solid, all things considered. But I, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna jinx, uh, jinx myself and think that I'm totally gonna get through Diesel Town without using a continue. I'm pretty sure the final two bosses of this area is gonna be what does me in. All right. And Nice. Cool. Will you please just stop dashing like an idiot? Oh my god. Nice! Okay, that's actually a good way to, like, follow it up, I think. Depending on the enemy, at least. Yeah! Yeah, because, like, two to three of those hits of, like, your three-hit, like, level one charge combo are gonna OTG. Nice. Alright. We'll, we'll go with that. We got it. Ow. Fucker. God, and, th and this dude just does not stun... At all. He does not stagger. <laughs> yeah. Unless um, the only way to like properly knock him back is like with a level four, but that's that's alright. Okay. We're still alive, we're still in the fight. Okay. Oh my god, please just I am telling my fingers, please, to stop being so mashy and just wasting all of my special attacks. Please, for fuck's sake. Oh my god, please. Just fuck her. Die. 
and give me some time back. Thank you. Okay, that's 18. How much of my health is that going to give back to me? Oh, no, it's not. It's still part of the same area. Fuck! Okay. Whatever. It's these two assholes. No! Oh, my God, no! No! Fucker. Yeah, I knew it. Still... One continue at this stage. Yeah, it could part of it also be luck or or not counted by some people because I'm playing on easy. But honestly, that like that's actual like improvement in skill right there. I will say though. While I do like everything else about, like, Minwa's, like, playstyle, man, her charge, uh, like, her special attack when grabbing enemies, boy, is it not as, like, versatile to use as it is with, like, Spike Jr. or Spike. Yeah, okay, come on. Yo! Alright, that's one down. Yeah, we'll do this. Come on, step forward, asshole. All right. Man. Wow. Still so close to using no continues on the freaking Diesel Town. Still, one's better than three. It's just God. Like, after, like, like they really do establish that... Spiker's Camp is the tutorial area. It's very simple. It's very straightforward. You don't have the branching paths with, like, different levels of bosses based on where you go. Okay. Nice. Ah, come on. Okay, and... No, please, just... There! Alright, got two of them at least. Well, I feel like that jump attack... Like, has so much more reach to it than you realize, or like the... Or the targeting decided to get a bit wonky in my favor, and that's normally not supposed to happen. I don't know. Ugh. Yeah, at this point I'm no longer gonna care just how many of like these specials that I waste. So far, so good. Yeah. Just... Yeah, even if Akira is not my main in Virtua Fighter, like... I'm definitely loving being able to use Bajituan in, like, other games, and I think Minwa is definitely up there as, like, one of my fa uh, one of the characters in this game that I would absolutely consider one of my mains. At least for now. There's some other characters from what I had messed around in the past in training mode that seem like they could be good. I'll just have to put them through their paces in Battle Street mode to know for sure. Man, just thinking about it and describing this as if it were a fighting game, I wonder, like, if people have, like, put together, like, a... Like, if people have theorized, like, what even a tier list would be for Spike Out Battle Street.
No, just... Oh my god. Stop dashing when I don't want it. Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god, please, just will you stop missing? No! Oh my god, oh wow! They got real close. But honestly, you know what? I'll take that. That could have gotten so much worse. Freaking using a continue in the first area of Astro Mall, that would have been embarrassing. But yeah, I, th I think as well, because of, like, the the different finishing point I chose in Diesel Town, this is absolutely, I think, like, a s different starting point in Astro Mall. Like, I think the first one we did was, like, at the top of the mall, we worked our way down. Here, meanwhile, it's like we've... I think we're going on our way back up. Unless I'm co completely forgetting the, the detail from last time. God, I just love how, like, even when they're juggled and low to the ground, that third hit of, like, the three-hit charge combo still hits them. That's beautiful. What? That doesn't count? That sucks. Oh. All right, whatever. Okay, let's go. At the very least, you using using a special attack like that is a pretty good safe way to like give you some time to like uh, preemptively ready like a level four charge. Assuming you can still aim is the thing. Which I'm still not that good at. Oh, wow. Yeah, just her... Her default B combos, I feel, are still... There's definitely something more to appreciate here compared to what Spike Jr. even has. Yes! <laughs> Ah! Damn it. No, that wasn't what I wanted. Yes! That's still good. Alright, we'll do it this way. Oh my god, wh where are you... Ugh. Yes! Alright, that was a good finish. Nice. Whew. Oh. Yeah, once you get back into the rhythm of how this game works, which is usually about the time you get to Diesel Town, God, is this just a boatload of fun. Yeah. All right. At the very least, I feel like I'm doing a decent enough job at like adapting to when like, like a combo I intend to do on a particular enemy doesn't work out because I miss. 
but I'm still able to kind of redirect it into like a combo that I use like on a different character. All right. Yeah, this definitely feels... I think it might actually be similar. I don't even recall anymore. I guess we'll know for sure once we get out of this first spot. Ah! Oh. Yeah. This is Pike out. No idea what else to say other than just to like gutturally react to like any close calls I have as, as I get my ass kicked and try to survive. All right, that's a solid combo. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm starting to think this might actually be the same. Oh my God, please. Just if the camera would just actually cooperate and giving me like a better like angle to judge my perspective on whether or not like an attack is going to land or not on who I think I'm aiming at. Yeah, just dealing with all these cronies surrounding Oswald, that's Still a solid strategy, all things considered. Thank you for the life sub. Yes. All right. We'll take it. Oh, yeah. No, this actually should be different. It says food court right there. Yeah, because it's like... Oh, God, what was it? I think it was like, yeah, we started at the top, like, as Spike Jr., moved down to the bottom, which was, like, kind of near where the parking garage was. Yeah, this totally is different. This is the B-side of Astro Mall. Okay, so now we know. If we if we fight, fight those two Muay Thai guys in the basketball court, that leads to... That has a start at the top. If we... Uh, take on those two in the streets then that means we'll start on the b-side which is we start at the bottom and work our way up all right Nice, seven hit combos. Jeez, yeah. Again, it's like, I don't know if that's just like a thing with the system that's always been the case or it might be changing on like a character basis. But just, wow, it feels like with uh, with Jump Plus Beat for Minwa, it feels like it's like the range that it can target is like so much farther than I normally expect it to be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here we go if we wanted, like, a second place to challenge King. So that actually, I guess, makes it, like, three places. There's Diesel Town in that one spot. There's here in Astro Mall. And then there's one that is actually, like, if you want, like, the secret side passage. The secret passage in the Imperial Mall. Okay. No other gates. So, we'll just take this. Right, and that's not the end of the section still. We gotta keep our wits about us. 
god, yeah. Still can't believe how much better in general I am doing with Minwa. Jeez, all these, all these thugs, some of which even look like mall cops, which it's like just makes you wonder just how, like, what is up with everyone on this island that they feel the need to, like, like, get involved in fighting me. <laughs> okay. God, yeah. It's still ridiculous just how much range I got with that. Okay. No boss here. That's fine. And... Got it. Oh, wait! Oh, I see now. Yeah, this loops back around to, I think, where... Oh, what was the boss's name? It was Wang? Fight. Yeah, I think now we're, like, getting a choice. Maybe this will actually give us the opportunity to go into the parking garage this time. Instead of into that toy store, which, you know, that'd probably be for the best. Oh my god, please. Alright, time to back off. Just do this. Okay, no, it's not Wang this time. It's Gina. Or, no, hold on. Is that... Yeah, boss G Gina. It's a very, very buff woman. No, oh, Gina and Wanda. Oh, it's two of them. Oh god, I just never... Took me a while to realize that, actually. Okay. Oh my god, that was not even close. Alright, that's Gina down. Oh yeah. We'll go this way. Because... Now we can finally access the parking garage. Alright. Showing as many different areas as we can before we really start mixing and matching with some of the later characters. God. Ugh. Stuff like this really makes you appreciate the design that they were going for with the original and just being like, no, we want this to be like as short or as long as the player can make it based on how good they are. And, and, like, the way that's facilitated, obviously, is by the fact that, like, you have all these branching paths, like, just in Diesel Town and Astral Mall alone, which I think is kind of the point. Like, you really don't have those, obviously, as part of the shipyard. But I think that's fine. It, it, it makes them as, like, a good catalyst for deciding, like, which versions of some of the later levels you actually start in, I think. That's, like, I'd say, like, a better... Like, like, that's a good way of going about it. Even so, I do kind of wish that they would, like, have included, like, the bonus games that, like, Final Edition had. That were, you know, like, very Street Fighter bon uh, bonus game-esque in their design, you know? Where it's just, like, you know, kind of gimmicky one-off challenges that are there as, like, a reprieve from, like, the core action. Oh, that's, that's actually a good start. Just kind of alternating between jump plus charge and jump plus beat and like either one or two hit combos. Obviously, you got to do it with like when they're stunned and kind of close to a corner. Yeah, thanks, camera. I can't see. Ah, 
fine. Still, not bad. Nice. Wow, I, I have not gotten the game over due to any time loss so far, and the only continue I've had to use was in Diesel Town, though that might change. I might still end up using one by the time I'm done with Astro Ball, but whatever. I'll take it as it comes along. <laughs> right now, Minwa, like everything about like her agility, her moves or whatever is just gelling with me. Even though a lot of these combos that I'm doing, 10 hits, look at that. Like, like, even though it's like the same core principles, there's obviously like some differences that kind of make her like more tuned to kind of like how I like to play these kind of games. You know, the faster, lighter characters, even if you're more at risk of like taking damage. Oh, fuck. Yes. Oh, wow, that is a very good way to ensure that you can get in on an enemy and, like, use, like, their special grab. But right now, I just need to get, like, out of this corner. Oh my god, please. It'd be a lot easier to deal with if, like, the camera was not fucking me as much as it is right now. <laughs> Having to fight against, like, these god-awful angles it keeps giving me. Yep, alright. At least I got a live sub. That's good. Nice. Yeah, take that, Samson. Come on. Nice, okay. Yes! Alright. He had a magic pixel anyway. I should have taken advantage of that. Alright, and it's up these escalator es es escalators. Area five. And that's it. That's how we end up in the final area of of the of the mall that has like the giant Sonic the Hedgehog statue. And it's probably more convenient too, because we start all the way at the bottom and there's no reason for us to like go back up to the top. Yes, all right. Ooh, that is so many hits. Okay, please just don't kill me. Oh my god, that is such a long grab. All right, we'll do it this way. Fine. Oh, just... Thank you for the life sub. Just always when I need it most. Like the game senses it and like throws me a bone instead of being a dick. Oh, idiots on, on the upper floor. Damn it. All right. Run it up there. Past the Opa Opa. Oh, wow. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, back down here. No, please, just do not. Yo, all right. I found such a good way to, like, reposition things. Like, jump plus charge. Level three to kind of stun the boss. Throw the boss into the crowd. And, like, as they're repositioning, use a level four on the entire group. Oh, man. I couldn't hit them on the wake up. That sucks. Nice. Life's up. Ah. I love how his, like, little, like, spinny attack actually leaves him dizzy. So it counts as a stun. That's, that's a pretty great self-inflicted kind of punishment for him. Yes! Oh, wow, that actually launched him. I'm surprised. All right, now. Oh! Trying to interrupt my combos? There. Oh, look at that. Look at that. No continues on Astro Mall. That's awesome. Yeah, so it was only... Only Diesel Town so far. So what's next? Yeah, Imperial Opera. Right, just kind of as I expected. It's like, they don't even give... I don't think they're going to give me the option of doing all five stages. It's like, Imperial Opera is always going to be stage four. Stage three, depending on how you finish Diesel Town, it's either going to be the Shipyard or Astro. Yes, all right. Okay, level three charge followed by like a B plus charge and just kind of chaining it. Oh, oh, wow. O obviously, it gets knocked away pretty far after a certain point, but again, like, like walls can all obviously, like, keep them in place. So just imagine, like, the extra hits that you could get off of that if they're positioned just right. Like, that's awesome. God, this, this is really, this, I'll, I'll sound like a broken record saying this, and I don't care because it's the truth. This is the best a 3D arcade beat-em-up has ever felt. This isn't a character action game. Like, that's reserved for something like God Hand, Devil May Cry, all that stuff. It's like, it's a it's a different uh, splinter off from, like, the beat-em-up genre. This is meant to be, like, a, an actual, like, classic beat-em-up in 3D, and it does it so freaking well. Yeah. All right. Nice. Okay. I don't think that obviously counted as like a single continuous combo because of like the switching to different enemies. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. <sighs> nice. All right. Huh. 
super armor straight through the flamethrower. How about that? Oh, no. At least I, I killed Squid. Oh, do the jump attack. Jump plus B, please. Thank you. Nice, nice. Okay, let's just keep going. Oh, man. Oh my god. That was not doing what I wanted. <laughs> wow. Giving me two. Ba uh, two special items in, in the stock back to back. That feels great. Yeah, this thing's worthless. I think it's only really worth using if it's your... Oh my god, just barely. Oh wow, okay. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, please just freaking... Wow, it's really... God. Th this whole stage really is designed to, like, run you short on time, no matter how good you are. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is... How have I not gone the game over just from, like, time lost? Oh my god, fuck this. Dude! I can't! Ugh! This stupid ass camera just keeps circling around in ways that I cannot control and it is fucking up with my ability to like target where I need to, especially when I'm using a goddamn eight directional digital stick. Like, oh my god, I'm. No joke, this is actually gonna kill me now. Good job, game. You fucked me over, you stupid ass bitch fucking camera. Fuck off! <laughs> Time over. Fuck you. <laughs> continue. Yeah, of course I'm gonna continue. Oh my. Seriously, how do they fuck up the camera this bad when Final Edition and even Digital Battle Online, I'm pretty sure, do it so much better? Like, like what got into their brain that they could not commit to the idea that the camera should be quickly recentering itself as much as possible to be behind your character, like your character's back, at a slight angle, left or right, depending on the offset. Like, why does it need to do this slow pan around bullshit like it's fucking Devil May Cry 1? A game where, like, as great as it is, everyone, including myself, notes, god awful camera. Like, obviously, it's pretty bad at conveying perspective and, like, when you're just trying to move around and platform and shit, but even during combat, because of just how it likes to automatically pan around on its own, it's real more. really distracting more than it deserves to. Yeah, so there we go. We got one proper death and like one uh, time over. Because 
Just fuck the, uh, because I love this game, but also fuck this game sometimes. <laughs> then again, it probably would have helped if I had, like, just focused on, like, doing what I'm doing here. But that's, you know, with just, uh, spamming the level 4 charges. But, like, that's boring to use for every single encounter. I only do it for ones like these where it's, like, I know I want to, like, thin the herd a little bit so I can get a bit more fancy elsewhere. Dude, fucker! Seriously, like, how is this camera okay? Especially when they have the original game for reference. Are you gonna drop me a health up or something? Not? Okay, fine. Dude, seriously! How? You seriously cannot fucking tell me that that kind of camera angle is a good idea. Oh god, yeah, and this is Emperor now, that's the thing. It's not just King, he takes so many hits. And I got 30 seconds, that's probably not gonna be enough. Fuck! Alright, fine. Continue. Asshole. We'll do it this way, then. Fuck you. That's seriously missed! Fucking bitch! Wow! Stun just has no effect on him. You basically have to do this shit. Repeatedly. What a fucker. Just get him backed into a corner and do this repeatedly. Wait, seriously? That's it? I thought that was a... Fuck, maybe that really is just something that is that only exists in, like, the arcade version. Assholes! You would think that they could have, like, recreated that. But no, they didn't. Because there's like an alternate path that you can take through that gate. But instead, they just turn it into a kind of shitty optional mini boss. That sucks. All the more reason why I really need to play Final Edition on stream. But I can't because the fucking emulator just refuses to work with OBS. Like, no matter what I try. It won't record when I'm in full screen, and I get like a. and like it fails to like display the game at all properly when I'm leaving it in windowed mode. And any other workarounds I've tried just do not work. So I'm left with Battle Street, which is still really great and a good way for me to like learn how to spike out properly. Even though this is now very clearly, like, the worst spot I could have been in. Ah. Whatever. Come on. Seriously, God, I, I am salty that, like, that side passage into the Opera House is not in this version. Like, how the hell did they think to leave that out? Watch yourself. Like, I get not having the original first few sections of Spiker's Camp, like, in, the, in Final Edition, because, you know, it, it makes no sense for it to be like that with all the other characters. Oh, wow. Oh, I got caught in the command grab, but I still overlapped with the freaking... <laughs> with, like, the with the life up. So it still saved me in the end. Oh, my 
fucking lord. Okay. You know what? Considering how often I'm still gonna be dying in this game, I'll make a mental note. Do not knock on the door that summons the Emperor. It is not worth it. It's not worth it unless the whole point is that you're trying to go for score and you know for a fact that you cannot die. Like, you know how to not get killed. Ah. Alright. I mean, at least with, like, all these other goons. Now that I've learned a bit more about just, like, how easily I can, like, combo these dudes, keep them juggled in the air for... It has helped a lot in the long run to, like... Yeah, you know, getting me more comfortable with, like, doing a run through a battle street. Which, hopefully... In the future... Like, probably if I get, like, a new PC where it's viable... I will absolutely transition Saturday Night Spike out into, like, just playthroughs of the arcade game in emulator. Like, of just Final Edition. We'll do that. Ooh! Nice! Nice! Huh! Knocked him over the edge. Hell yeah. Ow. Asshole with a stool. Nice! And I caught it! That just fly through him. You saw that shit. What the hell? There we go. Ow! Damn it. Shit, and now I gotta get all the way... Yeah, I gotta go all the way back up there because these assholes are inconsistent about whether or not they even want to jump. No, please don't. Ugh. God, running out of time is proving to be my number one weakness on this stage. Why is none of these people dying? Oh my god, that's the second time over on the same stage. Is it just... I'm... God. These dudes have so much health, and they're not- and the same ones are not lining up properly that I need to actually count as a kill. Alright. At least now, it's like we're two for two on the type of game overs we've gotten. Two for, like, just getting knocked out, and the, o and the other two for, uh, like, running out of time. Were you aiming? Where the fuck were you aiming with that sweep, Minwa? Oh my god, seriously, for fuck's sake. Will you just. Mm. Fine, we'll do it with, with this asshole. 
God, just my buttons are not wanting to do what I want. Oh my god! All because of the fucking side grab that it just did not! Alright, fine, we'll do it this way. Ah! Oh my god, just give me some space! Motherfucker! Thank you. Alright. That's fine. There's a special... Yep. We'll go with four. That's fine. Camera, please! You don't need to hug the wall for... F fuck off! God damn it. This game gives me as much entertainment as it does frustration. And it's frustration that I'm sure for people on the outside looking in might seem more petty or like just like uh, than it actually is. But you gotta freaking understand, there's like a whole world of difference in like how the camera feels between this game and the arcade original. You don't even need to play, you just need to like watch in order to know that was a thing. Ah, fuck you! Yes! Why the fuck? These hitboxes sometimes, man. Nice! Alright. Oh, that was good. That was a good combo. Alright, we're back in it. A fucking asshole. Yeah, thanks, ca uh, camera. I can't see, like where I'm gonna hit because all these other enemies are right between you and me. Seriously. Definitely wish there were some people that are familiar with this game that could just like cover the chat and be like, yeah, I sympathize with you. Because I'm pretty sure they also are, are like feeling the exact same problems with this bullshit. You, like, you do not need to design a camera like this. Like this kind of style has no function to it. Seriously. Fight. Here comes Alright. Dude! Oh my god, just fucking... Alright, we'll do it this way. They're in close enough proximity. Oh, fuck. God damn it, Wilhelm. Oh, 
fuck? Like, what the fuck, game? Come on. Well, at least I got a life sup. I guess that, that kind of saves it, but seriously. That, that was fucking dicey as hell. And of course, I am probably gonna run out of time as well because of this bullshit right here. Or not. Okay, never mind. But I could also die. <laughs> Shit. Wow. I think that I think that the enemy just like stopped learning how to think. Holy shit. No. Fuck. Come on. That dude takes off. Schneider just takes off so much damage. Like, that is not cool. Oh my god, game. Alright, so, uh. Three KOs. Two time overs. That's five continues. Alright. It's still less continues overall than the first time I was going through a spike. Here comes the boss. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Seriously, camera, can you not stay closer to where I am? <laughs> Man, Belial's turning into kind of a bitch. He's not doing all the crazy shit that I normally expect him to, and I feel like he was doing more of his usual shit when I was Spike Jr. Yeah, seriously, it's like he's not even fighting back. He normally abuses the hell out of, like, his spinny, like, invincible charge attack. With his scythe, you know? Yeah, see, now he's doing that. Alright. There we go! Wow. I fully would have expected to have gotten killed there. Especially if this was Final Edition. Oh man, yeah, he's a real bastard in the arcade, I'll tell you what. All right, now it's just me and Mikhail. Fight. Here comes the boss. Oh God, fucker! Oh, jeez! Come on! Did you hear that crackle? Like... Might be something like with the game files on my Xbox, I'm not even sure. Come on! Alright. Oh jeez. Ah, damn it. I can never get that... I can never get that jump to aim right to any of the two platforms up to the side of the arena. It just never works out. I have no idea why.
Oh, fuck you. Okay. That works. Nice. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, please, just... There we go! Okay. Alright, we'll do this this way. I'll just keep using up all my specials. And of course, these, like, ads of his are just never gonna stop, is the thing. But that's fine. Oh my god, that still does a lot of damage. How was that not close enough? Oh my god, please. No, please, just let me out. Yeah, I'll do it this way. Fuck it. I'll just get this last... Right over here. Come on. Turn the fucking camera around, assholes. All right. We got it. Oh, yeah. He's dead. He is fucking dead. Oh, my God. No. No, let's... Let's save this for real. Yeah! June and Hyen Dio, motherfucker! Here I go! Woo! Video games! God damn, that felt good. Yeah, five continues overall. Two timeouts, like time overs, and three KOs. I'm pretty sure that is like almost half of like the amount of continues I had at Spike Jr. I think it was nine. Select a fighter. And yeah. Wow. How about that? Got through it even faster than I did as Spike. That took me about, like, I'm pretty sure it was about two hours around for Spike Jr. And that was just for, like, the the version that had me, like, go through that first uh, variation of Astro Mall. This was with the second version. Yeah. See, that's half of, like, Team Neo Spike down. Spike Jr.'s whatever, like, his most defining part, I found, obviously, is, like, his, uh, is his special throw. Just because of how, like, if you get everything positioned just right, you can absolutely chain a level 4 charge into it when they're tossed into the air. Minwa doesn't have that benefit, but she does have, like, the double kick on even just the, on just the light jump plus charge move. Which I want to say, that's the thing that's, like, that's, uh one of those things that's special for her. Most others, most other characters, I think, that have a, a light jump plus charge only get the one hit. I mean, we could... Let's, uh, yeah, let's put uh, Spike Jr. in and let's uh, quickly test out to see if they if he actually has it. Yeah. Yeah, he only has the rising knee. That's the only, that's the only one. Let's see, what about the other characters? We get a sneak preview of Jackal, who's going to be next week's character. Fight. Yeah. Yeah, he only has that rising elbow. Now, what about Fiona? Let's see what she's got. I wonder if this is a thing that might only apply to, like, some of, like, the female characters of all things. Fight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's actually... That's good. Okay, so... So, of Team Neo Spike, only Minwa and Fiona have, like, a second follow-up on their light jump kick. I'm curious now, what is it, like, 
I wonder what uh, Team Spike themselves has. I wonder if Linda has the same thing, considering that she's like the the light female Fight. fighter of the team. Yeah. Yeah, she does. And I'm gonna presume that... I'm gonna presume that even Tenshin doesn't have one, even though I feel like he should. But then again, their their move lists are absolutely meant to be faithful to like what they had in the arcades. Oh no! Look at that! He actually does have a follow-up. Alright, so that's four characters now. Minwa, Fiona, Linda, and Tenshin. White and Spike, I'm pretty sure don't. I'm pretty sure they only just have the one. But that's nice. That's a nice little like variation detail. Yeah, just has a flash kick, and considering it's Spike, uh, I'm pretty sure it's kind of very similar to what his son has. Let's see. Fight. Yep. Yeah, Spike and Spike Jr. are literally meant to be, like, almost identical, because it is, like, father-like son. Oh, yeah, there's also Arc Fang, who's, like, a special character that, like, I'll probably end up using as, like, an interlude between, like, Team Spike and... And Team Neo Spike. Oh, but that's interesting. Okay, so like Fiona herself, like that's her cover. Arc, Arc Fang's like her like actual alias. Like Fiona has the double kick on like the light jump plus charge, but here she only has the one. Like that's all she has. But it makes sense as well, just because she has like. 50% of her moveset is different as Arc Fang because, uh, like, Fiona is very much meant to be, like, the Linda of Team Neo Spike in that, like, her primary uh, method of attack with, like, just the beat combos is actually with uh, a series of kicks instead of punches, which, as you'd imagine, has very different properties in how it affects the, like, player, uh, you, like, the enemies you fight. Well, this. You know, while we're here, just to pad out a little bit more for extra time, let's see if, like, how much a Team Neo Inferno has this. I'm going to assume Mikhail and Void don't, but Kaide and Hong, and Hong Long do. Let's take a look. Oh, no. Oh, what do you know? Mikhail actually has that. I guess that's not surprising. He is the boss character. <laughs> All right, Hong Long, what do you got? Okay, let's see. Fight. Oh, no. She uh, she only has the one. Alright. So, Mikhail's the fifth. Let's see how Kaide and Void uh, fare. I'm gonna assume Kaide uh, has, like, a follow-up. Yep, she does. That's, like, almost actually identical, I think, in animation to, like, what Mikhail uses anyway. <laughs> That's funny. And also, I appreciate the commonality that, like, of, like, all the members of Team Neo Inferno, apparently every single one of their hits has, like, electric hits, hit sparks. I have no idea why that was a decision they made, but okay, whatever, it looks cool. And for Void, it's probably just a single hit. Yep, as expected. Whew. All right. Jeez, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to, like, hmm... Because after, like, a single playthrough of Battle Street mode, I'm definitely not itching to, like, try and do, like, another immediately after. I'd rather not... Because this is going to be a recurring series, I feel like I'd rather not burn myself out too much by trying to stretch them all out into, like, the, like, a usual three-hour stream like all the others. Because those are usually for, like, you know, games that I'm doing a full playthrough of and they take multiple parts anyway. This is, like, ju this is just an arcade game. And, and, like, with any arcade game, I feel like, whether it's on stream or off stream, if I manage to even get through one playthrough, I want to uh, take that as a sign that I should take a break. So, yeah. That's it for tonight. Minwa was a lot of fun. Like, finally narrowing down that there is actually, like, one of the key differences between certain uh, characters that you play as is whether or not they have, like, a second follow-up on a light uh, jump kick attack. Like, that feels great. I'm, I'm totally glad that that's a thing, and I was pretty sure that was, like, a... That was a key factor in allowing me to, like, get off some of the combos I did, you know. 
you know, like chaining those together with level three charge and B plus C, you know, B plus charge and all that. So I think, yeah, Jackal's gonna Jackal is gonna be next, which means I'm obviously gonna be going back to a character who doesn't have that particular benefit. But I guess I'll know for sure, like once we uh, once we get into that next uh, next Saturday, like uh, like what his strengths are. How does he fare? Because he because I have to imagine he's got like kind of closer in style to what Spike Jr. has, but still has like his own unique moves that like. Their properties lead to different combos that are just as viable. Yeah, we'll we'll see how that goes. And and obviously because now that we've shown off both sides of Astro Mall, I think we'll like try like the the final two potential end spots for uh, Diesel Town that will hopefully lead us to uh, to both versions of the shipyard, so we can finally see the rest of like how all these stages. Link together. God. Ugh. I feel like every time I boot the game up and just sit for a while, I think this is going to be the only time from now on that I ever have to listen to, like, the god-awful voice acting in this game. <laughs> just, holy shit, it's so bad. It's so bad in the way that only Sega could do it. Okay. Have a good night, people. You take care.